In this video, we will look at two regulations from the Securities and Exchange Board of India. The first one is the SEBI listing regulations 2015 and the second one is the SEBI issue of capital regulations 2018. In the SEBI LODR, that is the listing obligations and disclosure requirement regulations, we will look specifically at regulation 32 which talks about the statement of deviation, deviations or variations. And in the ICDR regulations, that's the issue of capital and disclosure requirement regulations 2018, we will look at regulation number 82, which deals with a monitoring agency. Now, both these two regulations, uh, regulation 32 and regulation 82 of the ICDR are interconnected and therefore we will look at them in greater detail. Let's first look at Regulation 32 of the Listing Obligations. Now, Regulation 32 uh, talks about the statement of deviations or variations. Now, whenever a company is, uh, raises capital through a public issue or a rights issue or a preferential allotment, it has to state for what purpose it's raising the money. Now, when it receives the money, it has to state whether the funds which it has obtained from the issue are utilized as per the objects for which they were raised. If there are any variations in what they have received and what they have utilized, then this must be reported under Regulation 32 of the SEBI Listing Obligations Regulations. So let's look at Regulation 32. Regulation 32 one states that the listed entity shall it shall submit to the stock exchange what the following statements on a quarterly basis. So it's a listed entity should give to the stock exchanges on a quarterly basis the following statements when when it raises funds through a public issue, rights issue, or preferential allotment. So now what are these statements? The statement indicating deviations, if there are any deviations, in the use of proceeds from the object stated in the offer document or in the explanatory notes to the notice of the general meeting, whichever is applicable. Indicating category-wise, and what do you mean by category-wise? Cap uh, categories would be capital expenditure, sales marketing, working capital. So, it shall give statement between the projected utilization of funds made in the offer document or the uh, explanatory statement uh, to the notice of the general meeting and the actual utilization of funds. Now, Regulation 32 states that this shall be given, the statement of variation shall be given till such time as the issue proceeds have been fully utilized or the purpose for which these proceeds were raised has been achieved. Regulation 32.3 states that these statements shall be placed before the audit committee for review and after the review it shall be sent to the stock exchange. Regulation 32.4 states that the listed entity shall furnish an explanation for this variation. Now yes, the, the monitoring agency found that there were variations. Now these variations have to be explained and these this explanation will be found in the director's report of the annual report. Now these statements shall be given till such time as the full money raised through the issue has been fully utilized for the purpose stated in the offer document. Regulation 32 6 states that where the listed entity has appointed a monitoring agency to monitor the proceeds from the public or rights issue, the listed entity shall submit to the stock exchange any comment or report received from the monitoring agency within a period of 45 days 
from the end of each quarter remember these are quarterly statements and therefore from the end of each quarter within 45 statements you need to you that is the listed company needs to send to the stock exchange any comments which it has received from such monitoring agency we will look at the monitoring agencies in much detail later on now where the listed entity has appointed a monitoring agency to monitor the proceeds from a public rights issue, the monitoring agency agency's report shall be presented to the audit committee on an annual basis. Where the money has, uh, where, where the listed entity has raised funds through preferential allotment or qualified institutional placement, then the listed entity shall disclose it every year in its annual report until such period as the funds which are utilized. Now when we're talking about the securities listed on us on the SME exchange, then the quarter or quarterly reference will turn into a half yearly or half year reference. That's regulation 32 8. We move on to the issue of capital disclosure requirements 2018 regulation 82 which talks about monitoring agency now it's not in every issue that you need to appoint a monitoring issue, uh, agency you appoint a monitoring a monitoring agency when the issue size exceeds 100 crore who are these monitoring agencies they can be a public financial institution or a scheduled commercial bank as given by the issuer in its offer document. Now, nothing contained in this clause shall apply to the issue of specified securities made by banks, public financial institutions or an insurance company. Regulation 82.2 of the ICDR regulation states that the monitoring agency shall submit its report to the issuer in the format specified in Schedule 11 of the ICDR till at least 95% of the proceeds have of the issue have actually been raised. Of course, you take away whatever general cooperative, corporate expenses are there. Regulation 82.3 states that the board of directors and the management of the issuer shall provide their comments on the findings of the monitoring agency as specified in Schedule 11. Regulation 82.4 states that the issuer shall within 45 days from the end of each quarter publicly di disseminate the report of the monitoring agency by uploading the same on its website and sending it to the stock exchange on which of course its equity shares are listed. Let's look at the format of Schedule 11. Uh, we note out here that this is the report of the monitoring agency. So you'll have the name of the issuer, the period for which the report is being made, the name of the monitoring agency, the deviation from the objects, the range of the deviation. Of course, a declaration by the monitoring agency is important wherein it declares that the report is based on the format prescribed by SEBI ICDR regulations and also a declaration that the report provides a true and fair utilization of the proceeds of the issue. And of course, then there's the disclaimer that uh, they have no interest in the company and there's no conflict of interest. The name of the person who is authorized to sign and his designation also is required. This is on the front page of the report. Then the, the report will also contain the name, the issuer details, the issue details, the details of the arrangements made to ensure that the, mon uh, the monitoring of issue proceeds. Then, of course, the questions like whether the utilization is as per the disclosures in the offer document, whether the means of finance for the disclosed for the disclosed objects of the issue issue has been changed, whether all approvals statutory approvals have been received, 
so on and so forth. Then the report must also contain the details of objects to be monitored. What are they monitoring? The cost of the objects, the original cost as per the offer document, the revised cost, commence of the monitoring agency and commence of the directors. Then the progress in the objects. So you will have the amount utilized at the beginning of the quarter, during the quarter, end of the quarter. Then the deployment of utilized IPO proceeds. So amount invested, maturity date, earnings, return on investment. And the delay in implementing the objects. Completion date as per the offer document, actual. What is the delay in uh, days or months and the reason for delay are coming under the comments of the board of directors. Now let's specifically look at the rights issue of Reliance Industries. Now, on 15th May 2020, Reliance Industries made a rights issue wherein they issued 42 crores 26 lakhs 26,894 equity shares at the rate of rupees 1257 per equity share. Therefore, if you multiply it by the two, you would get the total amount expected to be raised from this issue and that worked out to rupees 53,124.2 crore. Of course, this was done in two tranches, one on application wherein you had to pay some amount and the other at a subsequent date when the um, company asked for it. What were the objects of the issue? Now, this is taken from this offer document or as on 15th May 2020. It said that it would use the amounts majorly for repayment or prepayment of all or a portion of certain borrowings availed by the company. That amount was Rs 39,755 crore and general corporate purposes was around Rs 13,281 crore. So the total proceeds, the net proceeds, now remember this is the net proceeds. They were supposed to raise 53,124.2 crores. Over here it is 53,036 crores which means there is an 88 crore difference and that is for the expenses in doing this issue. This is important. The amount utilized for general corporate purposes shall not exceed 25% of the gross proceeds. The gross proceeds, as you know, was rupees 53,124.2 crore and 25% works out to rupees 13,281 crore. So, on the 21st of January 2022, Look at this disclosure. This is a disclosure made by Reliance Industries by the company secretary sending to the stock exchange the statement of deviation or variation in the use of the proceeds of the right issue. She says that as per regulation 32, they confirm that there is no deviation or variation in the use of the proceeds from the object stated in the letter of offer for the rights issue of the company dated 15 May 2020. It also gives a declaration that this um, statement was reviewed by the audit committee. She go further goes on to state that of the total funds received as on 31st December 2021, Rs 5.19 crore was held in the monitoring agency account and yet to be utilized. The balance amount of rupees 52,865.42 crore has been utilized for the objects stated in the letter of offer of rights. So look at the statement of deviation or variation. We have seen the format earlier. This is the actual statement. You have Reliance Industries giving its rights issue. Amount of funds raised as on 7th of December 2021. That was rupees 52,870.61 crore. 
This amount was transferred to the monitoring agency as on 31st December 2021. So this report was filed for the period 31st December 2021. Monitoring agency being Access Bank. Whether there's a deviation? No, there was no deviation. The objects for which the funds have been raised and where there has been a deviation, there is no deviation out here. As mentioned earlier, Rs 39,755 crore was spent on repayment or prepayment of all or a portion of the company's borrowings. The remaining was for the general corporate purposes. Now, this was the remark. The company received Rs 50, 53,010.92 crore in total till 31st December 2021. Okay, now remember, this is what it had received. Now, of this amount, it transferred rupees 52,870.61 crore to the monitoring agency. Now, it utilized this amount, 52,865.42 crore, as on 31st December 2021 and the balance was rupees 5.19 left in the account of the monitoring agency. Still an amount of rupees 113.29 crores is yet to be collected from shareholders towards the call money. Now how do they get this 113.29? It is the difference between what was supposed to have been received that is uh, rupees 53,124.2 crore less what they had received that is rupees 53,010.92 crore 